a store dedicated to teaming rescue dogs from kill shelters with veterans is expanding. More space means more opportunity to help, and there's ways you can help. Our Jamaica Ponder live at the Promenade Bowling Brook with more. Good morning, Jamaica. Good morning, Brad. Yes, we are here at Canines for Veterans in their new space as they gear up for this weekend's super sale. And here they have wares that are handmade or developed by veterans and all of those proceeds go to helping the veterans as well as facilitating the program that they run, which connects veterans with service dogs. And today we have a bunch of vets and their pets here. They're very excited. Hi, everybody. Good morning. And Specifically, we have one veteran named Luis Diaz who's here with his dog, Arlo, and they're going to tell us a little bit about this program. Good morning, Luis. Good morning. Uh, my name's Luis. I'm an eight-year uh, Navy veteran. I've been part of the program for about two and a half years. Uh, what separates this program from the rest is their quick response. Uh, my wife reached out to them, and it took less than 24 hours for them to reach out. When we reached out to other programs, we're two and a half years later, and I have yet to hear back. Uh, simply, you're, we're not taking you. So this program really does hit the heart. And why did, why did your family initially reach out to Canines for Vets? Well, uh, a few years ago, I was diagnosed with PTSD. I uh, kept making excuses on why my moods were different. And she decided that, you know what, maybe just seeing the doctor isn't enough. Maybe you need a little bit more. And uh, along came Arlo. To and so I know it only took like 24 hours or so for Canines for Vets to get back to you and your family. And then how long was it until you were paired with Arlo? It actually was pretty quick. It was about a week uh, later that I got paired up with Arlo. Uh, the first uh, meeting, you know, they kind of look at you, see what your needs are, what your wants are. And uh, I wanted a calm dog and I got the opposite. So. I know. <laughs> I was going to say Arlo was not your first choice of breed. It was <laughs> not. I wanted a lab and I got a Belgian man. Now, but luckily, you know, he uh, has kept me active for the last two and a half years. And you told me earlier that this has had a major transformation on your life. Could you share some of the things that you've experienced? Absolutely. Uh, he is the bridge back to society, uh, not only for me, but for a lot of veterans. Uh, these dogs are able to provide, to allow us to go back out as something as simple as going to the mall, going to a restaurant and not having to worry about looking over our shoulders. Uh, these guys are our companions and they do watch our six. Wonderful, and I want to take it back to the fact that you are now advocating to make sure that more vets like yourself are able to access this free service. Absolutely, uh, about a year ago I wouldn't be able to do this and now I'm in a position where I want to be able to give back. I, I, if I can reach out at least to one veteran or one family member to let them know that they're not alone, there is options, and this program is a great program to start with. I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I want to talk a little bit about how active you've become since Arlo has made his way into your life. Could you tell us about that lifestyle change? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I went from trying uh, you know, to stay in bed and not be an outdoors person, and now I find myself walking a minimum of four miles a day with him just to get our exercise in. And he gets his exercise, I get my exercise. So we have to see a little bit of this exercise before I let you go. I know that Arlo is very well trained. Could you show us some of the things that he can absolutely. do? Absolutely. Look at that. Leash. Arlo can pick up his own leash, give it right back. Look at that. Twin. And, oh, wow. Oh, so you guys so, really are best yes, friends for life. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that Canines for Vets was able to connect you with Arlo and connect over a hundred other veterans just like Luis with dogs who help them navigate life and, like Luis said, act as that bridge back to society. So, Brad, I'm going to toss it back to you. Jamaica Police thank uh, Luis for his service and Arlo is a adorable little guy there and uh, I think he took a liking to you too so uh, what, what a beautiful pup and a beautiful program thank you for highlighting it